So this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and I'm here with uh, Koopa, is that how you pronounce it? Koopa, and they're showing off the uh, um, Koopa X11 tablet, which is currently available with Windows 7, will uh, later this year be available with Windows 8, and this is a demo running Windows 8. Um, it has capacitive touchscreen input, and it supports touchscreen gestures, like swiping from the sides there, and runs full desktop operating system so that you can run well, desktop apps, does, like the GIMP image editor. Windows also supports full. stylus input or digital pen input with a capacity. Um, uh, active digitizer, right. and so you can write and draw on the screen as as being demonstrated here. Right, and it supports a different pressure level. Oh, no, this one's not set up yet. So, but it supports a different pressure levels. <laughs> uh, so, so you know, the artists will be able to draw and shape differently with a different level, of, uh, different level of strokes. It's a 10.1 inch, 1366 by 768 pixel display, um, a 1.5 gigahertz Intel Atom Oak Trail processor, and gets around 10 hours of battery life, which is why it doesn't have a more powerful processor. Uh, but you know, the, uh, the the battery life, it's, it gets more battery life than say a Samsung Series 7 right now, um, and it still seems to be fairly responsive, especially with Windows 8, which is really optimized for touch. And I'm going to show you that it, it has a full does indeed. Have. And it runs really well, that's it, right. So I guess we've set it up now for pressure like sensitive yeah, input. You, the driver was in, uh, was in install. Now, now game is a uh, pretty resource intensive. Uh, yeah, it takes a while to load on my computer too. Right, but uh, but you know, it's it's free, it's good, mm -hmm. and it actually supports the pressure 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 mm -hmm. control very well. Uh, and it's free. <laughs> it's free, yeah. Uh, we've got uh, two USB ports here, HDMI and an SD card slot, headphone jack, and there's also a fingerprint scanner. So, so this is being aimed at very yeah. pressure sensitive. If I press that, it will be darker line. But I keep the, you know, I keep, I keep it on the other side, you will show a different shape. Mm -hmm. Now, this also needs to be calibrated. This is a new pin to this, so um, you get a even faster and much more accurate control over that. And it comes standard with the pen, and it also has a solid state disk, right? Right, uh, this one has a 128 gigabyte SSD drive in there. Okay. And is that, uh, there's a smaller version that comes with the base model, It comes right? with, a, the space mesh base version comes with a 64 gigabyte. So 64 gigabyte for the um, $699 version. Uh, do you expect the pricing to be similar with Windows 8, or is it dependent on what Microsoft? It depends on, I guess it depends on the, the, the cost of the Windows 8, but, uh, but it's, which probably will uh, maintain the price very similar. Okay, so later this year this will ship with Windows 8, now it ships with Windows 7, yeah, and clearly yeah, uh, users can upgrade if they, if they decide to uh, purchase Windows 8 on their own, because it runs Windows 8 pretty well. So. so thank you very much. This is uh, this is the Koopa X11 uh, demo at CES 2011 or 2012. <laughs> this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.